Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the new Super Mario Bros. 2 playthrough. Uh, before we get started, there is one last thing I want to showcase before we uh, get into the special world. Uh, because this has been kind of a thing since the original uh, new Super Mario Bros. where you have stars on your file names. Uh, this is the file we currently have. This is only a two-star file. Uh, basically, from my understanding, the star requirements are you get one star for beating the game, you get one star for getting all of the secret exits of the game, uh, you get one star for getting all of the star coin-like collectibles in the game, you get a fourth star for completing the special world, and you get a fifth star for getting a number of crown hundred and crownity crown lives. That's not actually what they call it. That name was actually invented by my friend uh, Aaron Doby. So thank you, Aaron, for the uh, terminology there. Uh, but yeah, you essentially have to max out your life counter. And your life counter isn't actually 999. It's actually when you get, uh, when you get what's known as 1,000, uh, your 100th place turns into a crown. Then once you get like... A hundred after that, your second digit will become a crown, and then the one after that, uh, you max it again ten times to get the final crown. I'll be showing off a way to do that, but I'm going to do that after I get uh, Special World taken care of. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So, let's go to our file here. And we are going to take a trip to the one, the only, Special World, or Star World, whatever you want to call it. So in order to actually get access to Special World, you need to spend 90 coins at this star post here. It costs 90 star coins to open this path. Do you want to spend the star coins? Yes, we do. And then we have access to the Star World. And not only that, we can also spend the remaining 9 star coins here to get what's in this... Uh, Mushroom House, which I believe is just a uh, golden flower, so not really going to worry about it, but it is here if you want it. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get it. I'll just put it in my inventory and I'll just use it if I ever need it or something. Seems like a good idea. Or actually, it's just a star man. I mean, I guess that is the only time you get a star man in this game. <laughs> Funnily enough, but okay, well, we'll go with that, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started here with uh, Star World Level 1. So in these levels, uh, two things. One, we don't have to worry about secret exits. Secret exits are not a concern anymore. And two, there's actually no more star coins. Now you're probably thinking, you know, we still have that star coin meter at the very bottom screen. So what do you mean there's no star coins? Well... Funny thing, uh, Star World does not have star coins. Star World has, once we find them. It may take a minute before we find them. Star World has moon coins. So yeah, we're not collecting, uh... We're not collecting star coins, we're collecting moon coins. And that's what we're gonna be essentially focusing on here. And I don't think we actually are going to miss the coin. I think we just have to go down here and uh, shoot ourselves up to it. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're collecting. Uh, there's not really a difference here. I mean, they, they pretty much function the same as uh, <laughs> the same as star coins. So they're not really different. There's three per level, and uh, that's really all they are. But, you know, they are essentially moon coins and not star coins. That's basically their only difference. Uh, this is going to be interesting. I might have to use the Koopa for this. Actually, I... And honestly, it wouldn't hurt to have the uh, Super Leaf back either, but eh, it is what it is. Okay, so I need to wait a little bit longer before I throw that Koopa shell. Also, we have this guy from Super Mario 64. Giving us the power-ups. Let me go back. But yeah, I should—I definitely should have kept the super leaf here because uh, 
This is going to be risky, but I got it. All right. Now, normally you'd think that the special world or the star world would have, like, really difficult levels. I mean, that's generally what they go for when it comes to uh, these levels in other Mario games. But no, like, I don't think the star world is really that hard or that difficult. It's just, you know, it's just another world, really. Also, I'm going to go ahead and wait till uh, 99 here so we can get the uh, rainbow course. Because, as you figure, because Mushroom was 77 and Flower was 88, Star would obviously be 99. Which means there is none for 0, 0. I don't really know why, but there isn't. But yeah, Star World, not really that difficult. Star World's actually uh, kind of a breeze, considering. So, don't have to uh, worry about it too much. But let's take a look at the uh, Star World Rainbow Course and see how uh, see how filled with coins it is. I'm gonna guess very. Oh wow, that's actually really cool. Good old star designs. Oh man, ten coins raining from the sky, plus the a hundred, plus the a hundred there. This level is not messing around when it comes to giving yourself coins. Is that it? Yep, yeah, okay. But yeah, there we go. So let's uh, just keep moving on. I'm not sure how long this world's gonna take uh, because again, this world's not really that difficult, so... I could see this taking only like one video if I decided to just put it all in one video, but I'll try to I'll try to put it in two. I mean, there's also a few other things I want to show off and talk about. I also want to kind of discuss my plans for the uh, the DLC coverage of this playthrough. I'm still not a hundred percent sure how I want to solve that or do that, but. You know, I, I have basic ideas of what I want to do. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, well. It would have just given me a one-up anyway, so I'm not too beat up about the missing that, really. Okay, let's do this. We look at all those coins. <laughs> Mario must definitely be in heaven if he wasn't already in this freaking game. Okay, well that's that doesn't take a genius. Let's just get a Koopa for that. Not gonna jump on this just yet. Whee. There we go. Now we'll jump on this. I wish blue coins would give you five coins like they do in uh, Super Mario 64. There we go. Got that. Hello, Mr. Vine. Now, we know we're not going to find any secret exits here. This is literally just a coin room, but... You know, coin rooms are nice. They give us coins. <laughs> no crap, Slim. <laughs> what else would they give you? <laughs> vitamin C? Well, vitamin vitamin coin. Yeah, okay. I guess they do give you vitamin C. <laughs> Just not the vitamin C you're used to, anyway. But yeah, we're already through two levels, and again, um, hasn't really been much of a challenge. Not that this game, like, has been, like, that challenging, but, you know, considering that, in general, when you've played, like, Mario games of this nature, they, they tend to kind of ramp up the difficulty a little bit in the Star World. 
I, I'd say the Star World is more weird than it is difficult, is I guess the major thing. It's so damn weird. I feel like there's a way to get up here. I could probably fly up there. I do have... I do have Raccoon Mario, and you know, this could very well be a thing I might have to do as well. Whee! It is! Oh no! Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Boom. We'll just take out everybody. Because that's what Mario does. He just... When Mario gets on a rampage, he just decides to destroy everything in his path. Also, I'm going to go back really quick because something seems odd about that little hole right there. I could be walking right into a trap, but I think this is... Yeah. As I thought, that, that thing right there was a lie. Aw, oh, damn. Oh, well. I got the coin I was looking for, at the very least, though. I got the coin. The coin has been gotten. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I love how behind that womp was one of those blocks. Kinda funny game. Kinda funny. Okay, looks like there's also a moon coin up there. Ugh! Can't quite reach. Can reach now. <laughs> then we got this. Which, this is just silly. <laughs> I'll take that. Ugh. There's gotta be a way to get back there, though. Okay, yeah, I think this is how I'm supposed to get back up there. So this is interesting. For some reason, I didn't really think about this the first time I played this level, but... <laughs> when in doubt, try to jump on top of platforms. You never know what you're gonna find. You may find a secret room that leads to something of that nature, and you get smashed by a thwomp, and everything just kind of sucks after that. <laughs> this does seem like a very interesting level, though, just because of the whole uh, walking through these doors thing. We call them doors, it's more like going in between the posts, I imagine, but still, you never know what you're going to find. You can find some good stuff there. And that's exactly, exactly what we did. Okay, so next we're going to go to World 4, or World Star 4. Oh no! Big Bertha, Big Bubba, whatever, uh, whatever that guy's name is. Uh, this is, uh, this one can be a bit of a difficult stage. It's an auto-scroller and a fish level, and you got a mini mushroom, and you know what they say, when they give you a mini mushroom, take notice. You even take notice when they don't give you a mini mushroom, because they have done that quite a bit in this game, where there has been a secret and you needed to bring a mini mushroom to the level. Which, as I've said before, just not good secrets when they do that. Give you the... Uh, they should definitely give you the mini mushroom if you're going to need it beforehand. It just makes sense to do that. Anyway, I'm not... I don't really remember how long I need to keep this, but, uh... I think we at least need to keep it for a little bit after the midway point. As far as Mr. Uh, Fishy Boy down there, just 
stay on a higher level and it'll be fine. I'm just gonna keep on climbing up. Gonna keep on climbing, baby. Oh. God! <laughs> yeah, not, not worth it. Not worth getting all the red coins if it was gonna lead me to death. We made it, guys. We made it. Oh, God. I was so scared I was going to get flattened right there. Would have not happened because Mini Mario can definitely swim, but still. Oh, now I have to get through this, too, which is... Ugh. There we go. I'm just going to make a jump for it when I get here. <laughs> I am pretty much done with this level, all things considered. If I wanted a giant fish to ch uh, chase me, I would jump into uh, the ocean with a shark or something. I don't actually want that. <laughs> let's, just, let's just be clear. Let's just be clear there. And yeah, gonna go ahead and move on to star number five. Once again, level gonna get uh, relatively straightforward. I wanna say, yeah, that's uh, the big Bertha level is probably the hardest level we've done so far in this world. And even then, it was relatively minor considering this level could also be a bit... Uh, okay, you know, maybe I... Maybe I kind of gave this level uh, not as much credit as it deserved. This one seems like it could be a bit of a challenge. If you're not prepared for the lack of two shenanigans. Which, admittedly, not everyone might be. Ugh, there we go. As usual, let's fly in the sky with the Lakitu. Get the moon coin in the sky and then almost die. <laughs> okay, thank God they give us this. Yeah, at least we can control ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know why the platform fell off there. I think I maybe just dipped down on it too hard or something. I guess that had to have been it. It's fine. It happens. None of us are perfect in the world of video games. Ugh. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that, but I don't hate it either. I will take that. And yep, here's the star coin. So, let's go ahead and grab that, grab the cloud. Got more coins up here. See, we had a good time. We had a good we had a good time, all things considered. And there we go. So this is what I'm gonna do next. I think I am gonna go ahead and end the video here. It's gonna it's been kind of a shortish video. 
But, um, you know, we have three more levels. There's something I want to showcase in the next video. It, it would be a good video to kind of showcase that and then kind of wrap up the main part of the playthrough there. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, I will uh, be right back, guys. So, give me just a minute, and I will see you in the next one. Later, folks.